Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't going to film a video. I wanted to actually wait a little bit until I finished using the products that I was sent, the Mio Organics products, so I can give an honest review. But um, I got so many comments and compliments on my how I wore my hair today. So I guess I just kind of decided, hmm, why not give like a half review and then a quick little I don't know, snippet, I guess you will, of how I've been wearing my hair, or how I will be wearing my hair. So I just kind of did this halo slash goddess braid thingy. Not super neat, just kind of did this part right here kind of straight, and then just separated it with my fingers. And the only thing that's in my hair is, um, what's in my hair? There's some leave-in conditioner, the Cantu that I use. There's that, and then the styling gel. Why can't I see this? There we go. That's a little better. The Mio Styling Gel, Mayo, whatever. Um, that and then the edge control. So the gel, y'all, is so bomb. Like, what is, what is this? In, ignore me. Anyway, <clears throat> the gel is so bomb. I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to wait until I use the shampoo and the conditioner too. I don't really shampoo my hair that much unless there's like a lot of product buildup and I don't use that many products so I don't have to shampoo as much and um, I just want to try the whole line more than just once to give an honest review but so far my wash and go because I never do wash and goes for one it's um, it was cold outside and my hair would freeze because I like to do it in the morning um, and literally just wash and go because when my hair is cooperating it will just curl with the gel in it and it stays that way but as of lately it just won't let me be great so I haven't done a wash and go since like August maybe and when I tell y'all this wash and go was bomb this wash and go was bomb like girl it was coming all the way through okay okay but anyway <laughs> the edge control is pretty good too when I first opened it and just did the initial thoughts on it it seemed like it would be too light and not heavy enough to tame these naps what is this this is so distracting okay there we go sorry um where was I Mm, yes it seemed like it was just too light to hold my hair but when I put it on my hair y'all edges was laid to the highest gods like I was speechless shocked <laughs> okay anyway I'm really I'm in a mood tonight so just ignore me but it worked so well I was just I was like okay Jill okay 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 so I'm gonna see if um, I can use the shampoo and conditioner uh, this week maybe this weekend I usually do my hair once a week and it's usually Saturday or Sunday depending on what it is that I have to do but I'm gonna give it a try and then yeah just take it from there so anyway back to this hair so put a little part right here and then just separated it with my fingers. There's I didn't add any other product to my hair. And I'm just gonna take a little section here, three pieces, you know, regular braid. How is my hair oh, whatever? And in order to stay like close to the edge, I kind of just only slide the hair. Like I hold it down here and just Pull the hair down. I don't know if that really makes sense. It's kind of harder to explain than I thought. But just don't move the braid. You just want to keep it right at the edge. And I didn't want it to be super tight because it's on the edge. I didn't want it to pull my little edges out. So it's tight but not. It's secure. That's the word. It is secure. And you just kind of keep going all the way down. I'm surprised that I got as many 
compliments on this because I just, you know, was feeling regular. And everybody's like, oh my god, your hair is so cute. I'm like, for real? Oh, well, thank you. Hmm. Okay. So, and you just continue doing this all the way down. Yes, I leave a little side out because I like my little curls on the side. You don't have to do this. This is obviously just a personal preference, but if you're going to leave it out, make sure you don't pull it into the braid like I keep doing. And then you just go all the way back, continuing your braid. Pretty neat. Go, Brittany. Okay, okay. And then what I was actually doing was taking the tail of this braid and feeding it into this braid so that it lays flatter. Usually I don't do that. I usually just use bobby pins, but for whatever reason my house eats bobby pins and my whole little pack just doesn't exist anymore. So I don't have no bobby pins, long story short. So we're going to get this little feed-in method to try and see how that works. And just braid it all the way to the tip. And I won't call this a protective style. I'm going to call this a protective slash low manipulation style. Because I may find myself redoing it if it starts to feel... Like it's getting dusty looking. Or I redid this one because it was um, it was a little bit too tight. And I felt like it was doing the opposite of protecting my hair. Yeah. So now I just have one tail. Let me turn around so you can see the back. Ignore my, that's my undercut under there. I'm trying to grow out. And then I'll just take this tail and stuff it into this braid, like underneath, all the way in there, so that it's super flat. And then take some of my Jamaican black castor oil mousse, and just put a little bit on here. And get these little pants. See, I'll pull it in there. Let's get that out. Okay. All right. All right. I will probably, because it's nighttime right now, so there's more in this side. I don't know why. And it looks a lot longer. I don't really care. It's fine. But I'm, I'll probably end up putting some gel on these so that it'll actually curl and look like something in the morning. Because I'm just going to go sleep on it now. So that would be counterproductive. Put a little bit of foam. Lay down these flyaways. The reason I didn't braid it with the foam in there is because it would get too slippery. And it would be too, um, my hair would get curly and be too soft. And I cannot braid my hair when it's wet because it's just... It's just too soft and it just doesn't, and it's, it just doesn't look good. I wanted it to look neat. And I think I did a pretty good job. I'll probably take some gel in the morning and slip that down. Or I'll do it tonight and put my scarf on it. I haven't decided yet because I kind of like how it just looks like right now. I don't know what all this random white stuff on my hair is. So if you see that, I see it too, but... I don't know what it is. Whatever. So, this is just my weekly style. And hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!